What's going on everyone? My name is Tyler Edwards. I'm a filmmaker based out of Colorado. If you're new here, thanks for dropping by. Hope you consider subscribing. You can wait to do so after you watch this video. If you are returning back to this channel, then thanks for coming back and I'd love to see you again. All right, well, I'm gonna be talking about the DJI Air 2S. I've had this drone uh, for a little over a year since I got my part 107 and uh, I have been very happy with with my purchase and after a year of using this drone I feel like now is a pretty good time I've had enough time to kind of formulate uh, a good enough opinion and enough experience of using this drone and uh, definitely a year for me because well this was my first drone that I've ever purchased and ever flown so um, uh, definitely having a year under my belt of flying this drone quite a bit has kind of led me uh, to be a little bit more comfortable flying this drone and thus giving a better and more honest review of said drone. This is my first drone review, so go easy on me if I don't like cover all the things, but the drone's been out a very long time, so uh, like when it comes to like cameras and tech and stuff, so I'm not gonna go over all the specs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm, there's a ton of videos out there on this. I'm just gonna kind of go over <clears throat> my user experience and uh, we'll just start with a couple of things that I really like about this drone. The first thing is the image quality. Now, I will say, the, although the image is beautiful, you get 10-bit D-log. For me, uh, maybe I just haven't like cracked the code, but it takes a lot of work for me personally to get the image out of this drone that I'm happy with and that I know this drone is capable of because all the information is there, but it definitely needs a lot of work and finesse. But once you do that, the images coming out of this drone are just spectacular. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the ease of use with this drone. And that was huge for me when getting this drone because this was my first drone that I ever purchased and really the first drone that I've flown at length. I've gotten much more confident as a pilot with the uh, flying with this thing just because of uh, how easy and intuitive it is to fly this drone. Pretty much I always leave it on cine mode and cine mode is great because it's uh, it's much smoother than sport mode. It's less responsive so you're not going to get like any like jerky looking movements but also it uses all the obstacle avoidance sensors and stuff like that which is great because you know, as you're a beginner drone pilot, you're paranoid of everything. And I still am, I'm still very careful and very conservative with how I fly this thing. But just having all these sensors just gives you a little bit more peace of mind. The only thing I wish, and I guess this is for like 
later in the video, but it doesn't have side sensors. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. I like to do a lot of like orbiting shots uh, around uh, whatever the, the subject matter is and not having the sensors on the side just means that you could potentially like run it into the side of a tree or something like that. Now, I typically will fly with a visual observer. So they'll just be like, hey, Tyler, stop, there's a tree. And then I just stop. Or I am just in line of sight and I can look up real quick and not and see the drone. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty conservative pilot. I don't send this thing like miles out like some people do. Because things things like capable of like five miles range or something like that, something crazy. I've never taken it like anywhere near that far. Five is it five miles? I don't know, something like that. I'll leave it right here. So yeah, but ease of use. I mean, this the app is very intuitive. The controller is very intuitive. Everything is just very easy to use, and that's something that I really appreciate with this drone because I feel like. This drone has just made me a much more confident and competent drone pilot just because of how how safe they've kind of made this thing uh, to fly. Yeah, kudos to you, DJI. A really good job. All right, the other thing I really like about this drone is the size of this drone. Now, I know there are smaller drones out there, but this thing still packs a, a better image, I think, than a lot of the smaller drones. Uh, and still, this drone is super tiny. And it's great for a couple things. Number one, well, for actually packing it for travel. I mean, it'll fit either in my little personal item uh, on a plane or in my, my Pelican case, my 1510 as my carry-on. It just packs down super small And this thing. I mean, look, look at this, it's ridiculous. So that's a huge, uh, huge bonus. But the other benefit with these smaller drones is it's just less intimidating when you go to send it up. Like if you were to, show up whether you're on vacation or even if you're in some you know you show up somewhere where it's legal to send a drone up and uh you, you show up with like an inspire 2 or a matrice or some of those big drones like it's gonna like intimidate people it's gonna raise some questions this thing is just less assuming it's kind of like you know instead of showing up you know to get some street footage filming on an alexa versus a sony a7s mark III. it's just way less assuming so uh travel great for packing and then it's less intimidating than like some of those bigger drones. All right, the last thing I wanna talk about with this drone that I really like is, is the value of this drone. When I was searching for whatever, whichever model of DJI drone that was kind of out at the time, my considerations were kind of a balance between quality and budget. And that's kind of the consideration for most people. What's, what's, my, what, what's the most I can spend and what's the least amount of quality that I'm willing to sacrifice or features that I'm willing to sacrifice, blah, blah, blah. And the, the Air 2S, I felt like didn't compromise on really either of those. There's a little bit of compromise maybe on dynamic range, but this one just kind of seemed like a no brainer. And I got the fly more combo, which gives you like three total batteries, I think, and like a case and some other gizmos and stuff that come with it. And I just thought for the price, it was just, an unbeatable deal, you know, compared to the, the Mavic Pro 2, to Mavic 2 Pro, whatever it was, that didn't seem like it offered that much more over this drone for, for the money. So super stoked on uh, going with the Air 2S. I think for the price point, I think it punches way above its weight class. Now, there are a couple of like wish list items that I wish could be addressed with firmware, but some of them are physical that you just can't. And the first physical thing is I wish it had sensors on the side of the drone. Not that it's caused a problem for me yet. The other thing that I wish could be improved and maybe this could be improved uh, with a firmware update, which I doubt will, cause it's kind of been out for a while. So, but the pan or the, the, the tilt on this, I wish there was a way to like create um, like an S curve or something. So as I, I like one of the shots that I really, really like doing is, is as I'm as I'm flying, I like to pan up, or as I'm flying like over a ledge or something to pan down. I think it's just a really cool look, and uh, it's a really cool shot. But when it gets to the top, like the highest point, it just kind of stops and it, it's kind of it just feels kind of sudden. I wish there was an S curve as, as you were getting to the very end, it would just kind of slow down and slowly, slowly stop. 
uh, kind of ease out of it or ease into whatever. Uh, so that way it would just be less uh, less jarring of emotion so that you could just kind of focus on um, continuing on without having to like adjust the the intensity on on the scroll wheel. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, that's a uh, that's just something I wish that could be added maybe via firmware. So another thing is I wish you could uh, record a higher bit rate. This could be just a, a hardware limitation of the SD card writer. It might not be able to actually write any faster, but if you could use faster SD cards, I wish you could record in a higher bit rate, especially in lower light scenes or, or high contrast scenes where you kind of want to bring up the shadows a little bit. Right now with the low bit rate, it's definitely very, very noisy and artifacty. Uh, with a higher bit rate and get more information, then you could probably have a much cleaner image. I don't even know if that's like firmware updatable or not. And even if it, any of these things are, I, I doubt it would get updated because it's a, a fairly older drone. And then the last thing that leaves some to be desired is the dynamic range. It's it's good, it's, just, it's not great. And when cutting it with other cameras like, you know, the C300 Mark III or the C500 or the Red Komodo or um, any of these cameras or the A7S Mark III that have really wide dynamic range, you can definitely tell and you definitely have to do some things in post to kind of hide that highlight roll off and stuff. So, um, Maybe in the next iteration, it'll have a little bit better dynamic range. But all in all, it's a great drone. I would totally recommend this if, if you were kind of like in, in my shoes where you're getting your first drone, but you are planning to make money with it. So you want to be able to deliver a great image to your clients, but you don't want to like break the bank. I think this is a great place to start. So it's a great image great value, uh, really easy to use. Now, like if I were to get a more expensive drone, like like I've, I've got my sight set on the Mavic 3 Cine, probably not in the cards quite yet, but um, I'd feel much more confident flying that drone um, with the price point that it's at because of um, the experience that I've gotten having flown this drone. So that's, uh, that's gonna conclude my uh, very sporadic all over the place review of the DJI. Air 2S. I hope you found it helpful or useful, or if not, I hope you just found the, the B-roll somewhat interesting to watch. And um, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next video. Peace.